Why are you staring like that? Never seen a town guard before? No. You... You're a human, aren't you? Me? Yes, uh... You could say that. Never been anything else. Wow. My name is Bartholomew Anton Shieldhand, Royal Town Guard of Seastone. And who are you? Um... My name is, um, Willow Brush, um, Weather Wood. <laughs> what kind of a name is that? Well, it's, it's just my name. So you don't want to tell me your real name then? On a secret mission, are we? Hmm. Where, where am I? This lovely seaside resort. Residence of the Archmage and home of the Sea Shanty Singers is Seastone. Seastone? Then I made it! Absolutely, I'd say. And here's me thinking that the orcs were firing grunts at our walls again. I have to see the Archmage. It's urgent. <laughs> then I wish you the best of luck. The guard at the upper gate follows very strict procedures. He won't let you through to the Archmage that easily. Is the Archmage even in his tower at the moment? I'm not allowed to give out any information on that subject. Those are the regulations. Can you tell me anything about the Archmage? Do you know him personally? Of course I know him. The Seastone Town Guard is also responsible for protecting the Archmage. Why does he need protection if he's as powerful as everyone says? Well, he's not uh, exactly the greatest of warriors. No? No. He's uh, more... Strange. He thinks about stuff, you know. Strange? Why does he do that? Who knows? Who knows? What do you mean by upper town? Well, the town's divided into the upper town and the lower town. The Archmage's tower is, of course, in the upper town. And what's in the lower town? Taverns, shops, the common people's dwellings. Well, at least they used to live there. Not anymore. Where are the town's inhabitants? Gone. Lots of them died when the town was besieged, and most of the survivors then went off with Gustav the Handsome to take revenge. That was rather... less than successful. And how many people are still living here? Not so many anymore. If the Archmage hadn't had his tower here, the town would have probably been abandoned. Sounds pretty sad. But things will get better. Wait until we win the war, and everyone comes back. Well, those that are still alive. But if almost no one lives here, who are you guarding? Oh, I'm not guarding the inhabitants, I'm guarding the town. I'm guarding it like my father did before me and his father before him. But not his father, he was a blacksmith. But his brother-in-law was a town guard and his father was a baker. Interesting. I have to go. I'll get in to see the Archmage one way or another. Well, I never. I have to get back to my post too. My break's over. So, Willowbrush Weatherwood, who wants to become a pirate, best of luck on your adventure. We'll no doubt bump into each other again. Thanks, Mr Shieldhand. See you later. I don't think anyone in my family has ever set foot in a human town before, not even Grandad. There are two signs on the door. One says, Master Marcus's Magic Mage School. The other says, Back Soon. Both signs are covered in cobwebs. They must have been hanging there for days or even weeks. Halt! Access only for authorised persons. Shield hand, are you the guard of the upper gate? Dead right. And you don't have access to the upper town. Um, uh, as I already mentioned to you at the outer gate, I must speak to the Archmage. It's urgent. And as I've already mentioned to you, the guard at the upper gate follows very strict procedures. 
But why didn't you say you were the guard? Well, I wasn't on duty, and you shouldn't mix business with pleasure. Anyway, it's much funnier this way. <laughs> hmm, I wouldn't be so sure about that. There has to be a way to get to see the Archmage. What would I have to do? Only people with personal invitations from the Archmage himself are allowed in. Do you have an invitation? No, unfortunately not. Well, there you go. Without an invitation, there's no way you'll ever be admitted to see the Archmage. But you could be admitted, of course. <laughs> if you were a mage yourself. Mages are allowed to speak with the Archmage? Naturally. He's the head of the Order, after all. You know any mages by any chance? Well, I'd, I'd like to be one myself. <laughs> and I'd like to be a dewdrop on a wood elf's butt cheek. Really? Why? Well, I... Look, only mages or people with invitations can get into the tower. So I'd be able to see the Archmage if I was accompanied by a mage? No, the mage would be allowed up, not you. But you could, say, give a message to the mage. But I must speak to the Archmage himself, and I have to give him something. Well then, you must be a mage yourself. <laughs> How do you know whether someone is a mage or not? Their magical aura? Or by the charisma and wisdom they radiate? By their mage diploma. Huh? Every trained mage has a mage diploma. They can show it to me here, and then I let them into the upper town. So that means if I show you a mage diploma, I can see the Archmage? Well, show me an honestly acquired mage's diploma, made out in your name, and I'll take you to the Archmage myself. If there's no other way, then I, Wilbrush Weatherwood, will just end up being the first magician in a long line of pirates. <laughs> Good luck. You'll find the mage teacher in the tavern. Just see what he thinks of the idea. <laughs> <laughs> How can I become an accredited mage then? You? Not at all. <laughs> <sighs> and how do others do it? Well, there are mage schools. There's one just down the street, Master Marcus's magical mage school. But Master Marcus shut up shop weeks ago. Now he spends the whole day sitting in the tavern playing some kind of role-play game. I'm going to get my mage diploma. Just you wait and see. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> oh, man, there's no way I can do a full course of mage training just to get into the Archmage's Tower. Maybe the mage teacher will lend me a diploma, and once I've given up the ring, well, maybe I could really take a stab at it. You hear a lot of bad things about rundown taverns. On the other hand, they're often the starting point of many a fantastic adventure. And to be perfectly honest, I haven't had enough of those yet. Have you got Form 12B for me? Oh, the blue one. No, it's just a green one. Hurry up, the post office is about to close for lunch. You're going to the post office? Oh, I'll come with you. I need a delivery note and I want to send off a registered letter. What... what are you doing? What do you think? You can see what we're doing. We're playing! Oh, damn, I've forgotten my ID card. You can have a copy of your passport certified by a solicitor. Hang on, I'll mark the solicitor for you on the map. What... what are you playing? The only true kind of game, a role-playing game. And what is this role-playing game all about? It's set in a fantasy world. Totally without dragons, orcs and magic. But instead... Oh! Here, here, here! Come over here! I found the tax inspector! Wait for me! I'll be there in a sec! Once I've got this stamp, I can finally conclude the fiscal year! You know what that means? Tax, Tax office. office! And... And you really enjoy playing the game? Of course! Certainly! You can escape the tedium of reality with all its magic and monsters. And you meet new people. It's not only us who play this game. 
It's played all over the world. There are six people currently online. Well, four if you don't include us. But one's just gone off to the toilet. And and when when is the game over? When when have you won? One. There is no winner. Just like in real life. The game has no end. You just keep on playing and oh oh a traffic warden's wanting to write me a ticket. Leave her, leave her. That's a hard quest series. You can try to lodge a written appeal and then you have to ugh. So the game never ends. Great. And this device, what does it do? What indeed? We type in our input and the machine shows us what everyone else is doing. It saves our equipment and controls the characters that aren't being controlled by other players. And how does it work? No idea. That thing is linked to a server somehow and that takes care of running it. Might I ask you who you both are? Of course. I'm Jack Smith, level 42 consultant at a medium-sized cooperative bank. But I want to retrain as a tax consultant with specialization in tax-effective investments. They have really fabulous skill trees. And I'm Mary Ellen Skittles, level 40, local government officer. My bicycle's got a three-speed gear. I've not the slightest idea what those two are talking about. Maybe it's a role-player thing. I meant, who are you two in real life? Oh, right. I used to be a successful merchant. I had a shop here in town and lots of market stalls. Now all I own is that knackered old stall outside the door there. No customers, no business. Then maybe I could buy something from you. Yeah, yeah, great. Why, um, whatever. And who are you? I'm Master Marcus, the local mage teacher. You're the mage teacher? Could you maybe... Shh, the game started. Master Marcus, I need, uh... Shh, I'm playing. Yes, but I urgently need, uh... Later! But without a mage diploma, I can't... Listen, I really haven't got time right now. My character's tax return is due. I've been playing towards it for days. Not a prayer. I'm not going to get a blessed thing from Master Marcus as long as that game is running. Mum bottles apple sauce in jars like that back home. I was our smaller though. Splendid two-pointer. A wooden box full of tools, including, amongst other things, a saw. Of course, the saw doesn't meet the norm tool safety regulations and it's a tad rusty. Still, I think it's usable. A door bearing a sign that says, server's room, no entry. No choice. What the? A hairy demon. He's he's operating a machine. The demon seems to be busy. He probably has to toil day and night just to keep the game going. There are a lot of index cards in the filing cabinet. Each card bears a small table and a picture. The cards are sorted alphabetically. Hmm, let's see. Rare watering can, volume, five liters. Used for geraniums, increases potted plant lifespan by two. Epic folder, offers room for up to 16 forms. Slip resistant suspenders, prevents sock slippage. Hmm, these index cards seem to contain descriptions of all the items in the game. For save games. Sorry, couldn't resist. The chair looks just like the chair the demon is sitting on. I guess it's a replacement chair. It says online, whatever that means. Now, let's see if we can annoy the demon. Uh -oh. 
<laughs> Whoa, that demon's fast. He must have amazing intellectual powers. There's a small stone beside the large one. It's half buried in the ground. Oh, a fluffy, wuffy little bunny rabbit. All white and soft and gentle and sweet. And I just want to cuddle it and, oh, I'm an adventurer now. I must act like one. It, it's a rabbit, a white one. It says, the meadows. No idea what that's supposed to be. Ugh! I've discovered the secret world of beetles, bugs and fleas and spiders. Okay then, I'll collect some of those bugs in the jar. Done. you just hide there? Uh, nothing. I saw you eating something and then you hid it when you saw me. What was it? You what? I wasn't eating anything. Oh yes you were. It was a long yellow thing. And if I was? And that's a whole crateful that's been delivered. And I'm taking the rest of the monkey just as soon as I have my next break period. That that's food for the hairy demon in the tavern. What do you mean, a demon? That's a monkey. A what? A monkey. Monkeys love bananas. And me too. Isn't it dangerous for humans to eat demon food? What? Bananas are delicious. The monkey goes crazy for them. Where did you get the demon food? The roleplay company sends a crate every week by air freight. I receive them and take them to the tavern. Maybe I can deliver the bananas to the tavern. I'd be happy to help. No, that comes under my area of responsibility. And you have to get on with becoming a graduate mage. <laughs> ha And it doesn't bother anyone that you take a couple of those things from every delivery. Um, well, perhaps it's not officially. And if I were to tell the Archmage, wouldn't he punish you? Perhaps. But how are you going to meet the Archmage? You got a mage diploma? <laughs> Those two players get really upset about technical difficulties in their role-playing game. Yes. And? Could the difficulties be related to the fact that someone is depriving the hairy demon of his food? Um, well, no. I can't imagine that. What if we ask the merchant and the mage teacher what they think about it? After all, they pay a lot of money to ensure that the game works. Well, I... And if it really is due to the lack of fruit, maybe they would like their money back. All right. Here's a banana. You have to peel the skin off it before you can eat it. Now get out of here. Oh, thanks ever so much. The server is so busy working that he won't notice a thing. The chair is still standing, but it should tip over pretty easily. Time for another go. <laughs> the 
That would have hurt the being made of flesh and blood. Hey, what's going on? Ah, nothing's working. Has the server crashed? Oh, oh, and I'm standing in a restricted parking zone right now. Oh, I've just about had enough of this. You pay all that money month after month, the developers make huge profits and still nothing works. Everything I've got is junk. All a whole load of totally outdated technology. I've had enough. I'm writing a complaint. If they don't get their technical problems under control, then I'm out of here. Absolutely. Me too. Excellent. It looks like all I have to do is ensure a second technical problem and the two will finally stop playing. Hmm, let's see. Ah! Oh, what's going on now? The server's gone crazy. Completely buggy. Ah! That's it. I can't be bothered anymore. I'm checking this in. They'll suffer the consequences for what they're doing. Right. Well, I'll give them one more chance. But just one. It's not like we couldn't stop if we wanted to. We could, but we don't want to. Too right. Except if they don't get the grips with their problems. Then it's over. Write that to them. No way! What will it take to finally get those two to stop playing? And that makes two complaints in the bin. Those two aren't going to take much more of this. Maybe I can distract him with this. Hey, demon, look what I have here. What's going on now? Can you do anything? No, everything's locked up. I've got lag. Lag! I'm not going to get upset about it. Why should I get upset about it? What? I started playing this game because it was fun. It isn't anymore. <laughs> and if it isn't fun, then you should just stop playing it. Devil! Bill, are you alright? Bill, you... you've got to breathe. Come on, let's get some fresh air. We'll pick up where we left off in a few days, OK? I did it! At last they stopped playing. I'll be able to have a halfway normal conversation with them now. The mage teacher simply must lend me a diploma. How else can I get into the tower? A roll of transparent tape. Oh, it's sticky.